welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's Fall Haul. They have officially got all their fall items back in their store right now, and they have got so many new items this fall. It is gonna be a giant taste test video. I cannot wait. Uh, so yeah, they've got everything out there that you normally typically like. I, of course, didn't get everything because we got what our family enjoys, but if you guys are looking for your traditional staple fall items, they have them now. So I would go out and get whatever you guys like, but I did pick up all the new items that my store carried, and we're gonna be showing them to you guys here doing the taste test video on that on Friday possibly Saturday morning depending on when I get it done but I've decided since there's so many great fall items out that there will be two taste test videos this week one for all the new items which will be out either Friday night or Saturday morning and then Sunday will be a taste test video of just their seasonal fall items some stuff that I haven't tried so if you guys see any items that are not new that are fall that you guys want us to try in that video let me know and I will put it in that video for you guys so we've got the haul today and then two taste test videos coming at you this week so let's get started let me share with you what we got First up, this is a classic over here that we get every year. This is the pumpkin cheesecake. It comes frozen, so you do want to defrost this before you eat it. You can either defrost it, um, just put it in the fridge overnight, or you can leave it out on the counter if you want to eat it right away. This is absolutely delicious. Everybody loves this. So this is a staple that we get every year. We needed some hash browns. I've been waiting for this for a couple of weeks. They have not had it at my store, but they finally had it back today, so I did pick it up. We've got a staple over here everyone's favorite macaroni and cheese and this one definitely is my favorite that Trader Joe's carries this is the butternut squash macaroni and cheese it is so good I'm sure you guys have had this but by chance if you have not you've got to give it a try it is so good so definitely picked up a thing of that the hot and sweet pepper jelly is back. This is now a seasonal item. They did used to carry this year round, but it's a seasonal item now, so I definitely had to pick this up because I'm gonna be making some charcuterie boards. It's finally that time. I like to typically do it like in the fall time, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, had to pick this up because I love to put that on crackers and cheese, just really good. And then over here, we have got the pumpkin brioche twist. This is a classic French style brioche with a hint of warm spices. This bread is great. What I'm gonna be doing is making French toast out of this. So we're gonna be having this this weekend. I'm gonna be turning this into some French toast. So definitely excited for that. And then this new little guy came out last week and we did a taste test video on it if you guys haven't seen it. But spoiler alert, this was absolutely delicious. It was our favorite item that we tried last week. So of course I had to get it again because I just did not get enough of it. It was so good. So definitely a must try, you guys. If you like onion though, you definitely have to like onion. Um, but if you like onion, you will not be disappointed with this focaccia bread. It tastes just like French onion soup. Next up, we've got the pumpkin spice espresso beans. I don't think we've tried these before. They are chocolate covered espresso beans with a pumpkin spice blend. They're only 99 cents, so I thought that would be perfect to try. This one will probably be in the taste test video, like the fall themed one. So yeah, excited to give those a try. Brent likes the espresso beans, me not so much. Uh, so we'll see if I end up liking those or not. So we've got our first brand new item over here. That is the gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins. This looks so good. If you guys have tried any of their gluten-free muffins before, they nail them out of the park each and every time. Every single gluten-free muffin that I've tried from Trader Joe's has been exceptional. I have got to think that these ones are gonna be the same. It says it's made with pumpkin puree, pumpkin spice bits, and spiced streusel. So cannot wait to try these. Okay, so we've got the uh, nutrition facts right here. We've got about 380 calories for one muffin. And then let's scroll here. Here's the ingredients, a little hard to see, but this does contain milk and egg if you guys are looking out for any allergens. So of course, Tristan can't have these because it has egg in them. And then we've got a classic over here, the pumpkin rolls. These are absolutely delicious, one of our favorites. And I don't think it's too pumpkin-y as well too. So I would definitely recommend if you guys are um, you know, curious about it, if you don't like a whole lot of pumpkin, I what I remember is I don't remember they were overpowering. Um, but like I said, if you guys wanna see these in the taste test video, we will do them if you want them. And it has a pumpkin spice icing on them as well. And then our next new item, we have got the pumpkin sticky toffee cake. It comes with two cakes and these are in the freezer section. Not too sure what I feel about this one. Not honestly, not super excited, but it could definitely pleasantly surprise me in the taste test. So we will see. 
Okay, so there we go. We've got the nutrition facts, 460 calories. Whoa, 32 grams of added sugar, but I mean, it is a dessert, so kind of it to be expected. And then there we go. There we've got the ingredients, contains milk, egg, and wheat. We have got the Harvest Chili, which is an item that I personally have never tried before. So this will definitely be in the fall taste test video because I really wanted to try this. It sounds like it would be really good. This comes with black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, and then it's simmered in a pumpkin puree with chili spices. It sounds really good, so definitely cannot wait to try this. And then over here, we have got the non-dairy oat beverage maple flavor. This one's kind of like a hit or miss, I guess, with people. I hear some people either love it or they hate it. I personally love this item and have been excited for it to come back. Now, what I do with this, I don't just drink it straight out just like milk. Um, I prefer this in coffee. I think this is the perfect thing to put in coffee because it is sweet. It's gonna be maple flavored. So I put this in my frother, froth it up, put it over either warm coffee, you can put it in iced coffee. I think it's delicious. And I'm also going to pair this with this pumpkin brioche twist bread when I make the French toast. So I'll whip up some eggs and then I'm gonna add some of this maple um, oat milk on top, of course with some vanilla and cinnamon, and it makes a really good French toast as well too. So if you like maple, I mean, I would give this a try. I personally really like this one. We have got the fall leaf corn tortilla chips, your basic corn tortilla chips, but I mean, it's so cute with the little fall leaves in it. It's just a staple. I have to have it every year. It's just really cute. Uh, this is another item that we have never tried before. So this will be in the uh, fall taste test video. This is the autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce. I have been hearing really good things about this one. Everyone says this pasta sauce is delicious. So I finally picked it up this year to give it a try because I mean, everyone says it's good. We We've got the apple cider foaming hand soap. If you like apples, smells just like apples. I love this foaming soap. And then the kids, of course, they love the foaming soap. It's one of their favorites. We've got another new item over here, and that is the mochi caramel apple flavor. So it comes with six mochis in here. They're frozen and gluten-free, and I hear that these are individually wrapped as well too, which is a plus, because the other ones weren't like this. So I really like that they did that. It has caramel apple ice cream surrounded by sweet rice dough. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Serving size, six pieces. Wow, okay, so 80 calories per piece which I don't think is bad at all for a dessert. There we go, there's the rest of it. And then let's scroll down here. So it contains uh, milk and eggs. So yeah, really excited. I love caramel apple, that is one of my favorites. We've got some new cheeses over here. First is the stripy Joe cheese. Cute little layered cheese like that. It looks like it's really good. And then we've also got a brand new cheese. This one is the beer cheese. I think this would be perfect for charcuterie boards, both of these. So yeah, really excited to see those. And then you guys, this next item. Oh, so excited. They came out with unexpected cheddar cheese spread. They just keep coming out with more and more items using their unexpected cheddar cheese, but hey, I'm not complaining because pretty much everything that I've tried that they use that cheese is delicious, and I'm sure this one will be no exception. And here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients on the cheese spread. It does contain milk. Okay, so now on to the next new item. We have got organic maple vinaigrette dressing. Like I said, maple is my favorite fall flavor, so really excited about this one as well too. Definitely gonna be trying this one. Okay, so there's the nutrition facts. You guys wanna take a look at that or a screenshot. And then here are the ingredients. We have got the gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. They, of course, have the traditional one as well, too, if you aren't looking for the gluten-free one. Definitely, we'll be making muffins out of this one. I like to put a cream cheese like base in the middle of it as well, too. So good. I grabbed a can of organic pumpkin. I'm gonna be making some pumpkin cream cold foam, uh, so I need actual pumpkin for that recipe, so I grabbed a can of that. Then we've got two brand new items over here. Let's start with the JoJo's first. We've got the pumpkin spiced JoJo's. It's a pumpkin sandwich cookie and a yogurt flavored coating with sea salt. I don't know, I'm not the biggest JoJo fan out there. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely see what we think of them. Okay, so we've got one cookie, 120 calories. There we go. And then there are the ingredients. It contains milk, soy, and wheat. I do not think Brett is gonna like this next item, but I definitely most likely will. This is organic artichoke pasta sauce. I'm gonna, gonna have to scroll, go slow, see the nutrition facts and the ingredients. Ooh, we've got extra virgin olive oil. Oh, of course there's sunflower oil in there too. Why do they have to add both? I hate that they do that. But yeah, 
So there we go, there's the nutrition facts and the ingredients on that, so we will have to see what we think of that. Next, we've got the Caramel Apple Dipping Kit, which is new this year, this is another new item. So the kit includes caramel, peanuts, sprinkles, and six sticks. Just add your favorite variety of apples. So the only thing that you'll have to get is whatever apples that you want. I thought this would be really cool to do with the kids, uh, so this probably won't be in the taste test video. I mean, everyone knows what a caramel apple tastes like, but definitely a fun activity to do with them, and I love myself a good caramel apple. Apple, so definitely excited to see that this year and speaking of the kids definitely had to pick this up for them as well too This is the haunted house chocolate cookie kit It comes with everything that you need to assemble even like the little bones and like the extra candy and stuff as well too So the kids I think will have a lot of fun putting this together Next up, we've got another item that I have never tried before that I hear exceptional things about as well. Everyone like raves about these hold the cones. So this one will be in the fall taste test video that will be out on Sunday. And we are gonna try these for the first time. So these are the mini hold the cone ice creams and these are the pumpkin and ginger flavor. So it comes with eight mini ginger cones filled with pumpkin, ice cream and white confectionery coating. So, sounds like it's gonna be good. I mean, I don't think I've heard one person say they didn't like this. So hopefully we are the same and that we like these. Now, we have got another item. We've never tried these as well too, so these will be in the video that's out on Sunday. That is the pumpkin tortilla chips. So uh, these pumpkin tortilla chips, they're crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seed, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It seems like it's gonna be more of like on the sweet side, which I'm not too sure about. But these are gluten-free, so Tristan and the kids can try them as well too. So hopefully somebody in the family likes them. We will see. Now this next item is one of our favorites. The whole family loves this. I grabbed two bags of this because like I said, it's just so good. That is the maple flavored and sea salt kettle corn. Gluten free so the kids can have it and it's just so good. Like I said, maple is our favorite flavor so anything maple, I mean hands down, we've gotta get it, we love it. So if you guys have been looking for it, uh, they have it out now. I was really excited to see this seasoning back at Trader Joe's. This is another item that I've heard so many people recommend, but I have never personally been able to get my hands on this seasoning. Every time that they say that it's in stores, it's never at mine. Uh, but finally, today was my lucky day. They finally had it in. This is the Herbs de Provence seasoning blend. And it's so cute. It comes with like this little spoon on the side. I just think it's absolutely perfect. If you guys wanna see what seasonings are there, there you go. But yeah, finally excited to like cook with this and and see what all the fuss is about because I hear amazing things about this. We have got uh, the gourd tree. Now they had two different kinds. They had the pumpkin cider. That's the one that I decided to opt in getting this week. And they also had the pumpkin ale. So depending on your preference, they have both. Uh, they both sounded good, but I decided, I think the cider sounds like something more that I would enjoy, uh, but I'm not opposed to getting the pumpkin ale next week and giving that one a try as well too. Let me know if you guys wanna see this in either of the taste test videos. We can add that in there if you guys wanna see it. If not, no big deal. And then lastly, we've got our last brand new item, and that is the salted maple ice cream. So it's salted maple ice cream with salted maple flavored swirls. So it sounds like a lot of maple, um, but I mean, I guess I'm not complaining. I like maple. Here's the nutrition facts and ingredients on the ice cream. Contains milk and egg. And then let me scroll. Okay guys, so that is everything for this fall haul. Uh, stay tuned for both the taste test videos coming at you very shortly. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in those videos. Bye.